the narcissist will go crazy if you do this. The narcissist will go crazy if you stop talking to them. If you cut them off. If you go no contact with them. They will go insane. It causes a huge narcissistic injury. Narcissists are very insecure. They have very low self-worth. They try to regulate this through controlling their victims or their environment. This then provides them with a sense of stability and security. Having control over other people and their environment makes them feel as though they have some control over themselves. They use other people to regulate their self-worth and their emotional state. When you discard them or go no contact with them, they feel as though you have just taken the control away from them. You have prevented them from being able to regulate their self-worth and their emotional state. They are no longer able to use you as a tool to make themselves feel stable or secure. It makes them feel worthless and insignificant. Now they have no one to validate or prop up their false self. It hurts them. It makes them feel as though you are trying to hurt them. They don't ever consider or look at all of the things that they have done to you. They don't believe that they've done anything wrong. They're in denial. They see it as though it was justified, which then helps them to dodge the shame. Rather than reflecting on their shame, rather than reflecting on how they feel that they are a bad person, they choose to see their negative traits and the problems that they have caused as something that makes them powerful. It still makes them feel as though their false self exists and as though they are something significant in somebody's life. And that's all the narcissist has ever really wanted. They just want to be seen or heard. They want to feel as though they exist. Which is why if they can't get your attention by being positive or admiring you, they will try to tear you down. They will try to ruin your life. It still gets them noticed. It still makes them feel as though they exist. And that's all that really matters to them. So when you go no contact with a narcissist, they will go crazy. They will go insane. Because their emotional regulation tool is running away. And they know that they're about to be left alone with their true feelings about themselves. All of the shame that they've tried to dodge over the years. All of the blame that they shifted onto other people. It all catches up to them when they're finally alone and they can't take it. It's too painful for them to deal with. They would rather just live a lie and pretend like none of that even exists. 
And it's much easier for them to do that when you're around them. Then they can project their insecurities onto you. They can project their feelings of shame and unworthiness onto you. They can shift the blame onto you for the faults or mistakes that they have made. It's so much easier for them to dodge any self-reflection of how they really feel about themselves when you are around. Because they always know how to trick you into supporting their false self and their false narrative. While making you look at yourself as though you are the problem. When you go no contact with a narcissist, you are no longer around for them to do that. You are no longer there to support their false self or their false narrative. It completely destroys the false self image that they try to portray. When you even question or confront them on something that they have done, it causes an injury because you are challenging their false self. You are challenging this fake persona which they have created because they felt that who they really are wasn't good enough. So when you go no contact with them and completely cut off any validation of their false self, it provokes even more anger and frustration within the narcissist. Because now you're not around to validate their false self. Now they feel small and insignificant, worthless. They become desperate because all of the shame that has caught up with them is impossible for them to deal with. They become obsessed with finding you, tracking you down. They will stalk you and do whatever it takes to get in contact with you again. If that doesn't work and if you still refuse to be involved with them, they will continue to intimidate you. They will continue to harass you. They will call you some of the most hurtful things that you could ever imagine. And they may even become physically violent. This is their attempt of trying to regain control over the situation. Desperate people do desperate things and they will lower themselves and do whatever it takes to get your attention. Whatever it takes to get you involved with them again. No matter how damaging and destructive it may be. If you try to go no contact with a narcissist, this is what they will do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.